looks like cognition labs is back again with a new update for devon which is supposedly the first ai software engineer now i'll be honest i'm not too fond of devon due to the lies they have sprung up about their results but i do appreciate their new update which is why i wanted to make a new video on it ever since their last update they have released a new version which has became faster and more accurate with code edits making it more reliable for following instructions plus making decisions autonomously a new feature that i want to mention is that devon can now automatically respond to comments on its pull requests when you review Devin's code on GitHub, it will reply to your feedback in real time and it's going to provide the session that is still active and it will basically allow you to engage directly with reviewers and make changes based on the input that Devin makes. Secondly, there is this new thing that they have released which is called multi Devon, and it's a manager Devon that can create and oversee a team of Devons working in parallel. It's ideal for tackling large backlogs and repetitive isolated tasks like migrations, refractoring, as well as many other things. Now by delegating work to multiple Devons, it's going to accelerate their project's timeline and it's basically where they're looking to ensure efficient task management that can make perfect handling of different tasks as well as large-scale projects something tiny that was released is that Devin can automatically suggest new knowledge based on your feedback and this is within the chat of Devin this knowledge includes tips documentation and facts that Devin can use while working when you provide feedback Devin can basically suggest additions to this collection so that it can draw on the knowledge as needed recall relevant information and this will overall improve the performance and decision making process during the tasks that you basically prompt up with Devon. In essence, with this new update, they have made Devon faster, more accurate, and more reliable, which is why I really wanted to make a video on this because they're slowly taking back or like trying to recover from the mistakes they've made by making this platform a better overall enhanced Devon that can be focused on the core capabilities that they mentioned initially. Now, when it comes to being faster, it can complete tasks significantly quicker than before. It's more accurate with its code edits, which makes it more precise. It's also more reliable being independent in terms of its decisions that it makes. It also reduces the need for human intervention and something cool that I want to know is that Devin has shown up to be 80% in terms of reduced time that is needed to complete various tasks. Now something that also came out with this new update is that Cognition team was also testing the new OpenAI models, the O1 Preview and the O1 Mini with Devon. And they compared these two models with the GPT-4 Omni model and they found that the O1 Preview excelled in reasoning also with root cause issues and reducing elucidation. Now they noted the difference in prompting with the O1 requiring more concise inputs and performing better with final answer prompts which is quite given because the O1 preview is significantly better at logical reasoning. It takes time to process the information to give a better answer. And this significantly improved Devon's performance on their internal benchmark, which is the Cognition Golden. And in my opinion, this is a pretty BS uh, benchmark in my opinion. I know, give me all the flack you would want, but I still don't trust Cognition Labs for what they've done initially. But in this case, with this benchmark, it's showcasing that it's slower inference speed and increased versatility in following uh, different types of instructions, whereas to showcase that this new model being integrated with Devon showcase an enhanced Devon model that will definitely elevate any sort of engineer when they use it. This is just a simple example that is comparing the GPT-4 Omni with the O1 Preview. And in this case, Devin was asked to analyze the sentiment of an X post using two libraries. So this is the X post. Let's take a look at it. This is what they had requested to analyze with the Devon model, having it attached to GPT-4 Omni as well as with the O1 Preview. Now, the libraries that they used was the text blob and the text to emotion. And during this task, an error basically had occurred where they couldn't find the attributes as well as the modular emoji 
The solution was actually downgraded to the Emoji library version. And while Devin with GPT-4 Omni actually struggled and made mistakes at this particular step, whereas the Devin uh, integration with the O1 preview model was able to find the correct solution. And this was by researching online, similar to how a human engineer would, and it was able to process the analysis correctly. Now, in my opinion, this is kind of pretty cool. And what they had done is that they used Devin to actually create and simulate a real world software engineer task for autonomous evaluation. This is where they had asked uh, Devin to build this dashboard and it was basically where it pulls data with the following uh, link. And in this case, it displays all the metrics appropriately with charts within this dashboard, which you can see over here. And it continuously uses the O1 preview model. Within a couple seconds, it was able to develop this app for you. Now, in this case, they built this dashboard quite easily and it was able to showcase how it successfully attempted to allow you to build it step-by-step -step within this artifact similar like type of dashboard and within a couple seconds it was able to develop this dashboard for you now you may be wondering how can you get access well unfortunately with cognition labs they still have not given access to everyone you're going to need to apply to get access and this is by simply filling out this waitlist form to gain access to cognition labs devon platform now let's take a look at some examples of what Devin is capable of doing. This is where Andrew, definitely recommend giving him a follow, was able to get him a job at McDonald's with the help of Devin. Just take a look at this video and I'll explain a bit more. Using the web, so let's get right into it. I asked Devin to help me apply for a job at McDonald's since Devin is gonna, if you know, if Devin takes away all our software jobs. Um, so, so first of all, it goes to the it finds the McDonald's site, and you can see it looks for it selects a job from the dropdown. Uh, here's a plan it makes, and um, it goes into the job description, and it looks like McDonald's actually has a AI chat, which is super meta. <laughs> um, so now we have an AI talking to an AI, uh, and so um, here it's talking to a McDonald's Olivia like AI hiring bot, and it's giving it my information. Okay, I just docked myself. Great, um, and it's able to figure out how to use this chat window and uh, go all the way to the end. Awesome. And next I asked it to help me apply to Taco Bell as well. And at this point, instead of uh, uh, telling Devin all my details, like my phone number, my email, my address, I gave it to it in a playbook, which is this new feature where you can um, write out like a, a pre a preset, like set of set by set of instructions in a markdown file, basically, uh, that tells Devin like what it should do uh, to execute your task. And this has been really powerful. And so it goes to Taco Bell. It looks for jobs in Palo Alto. Um, it, go, it clicks on apply. And it starts filling out all my details on this form. And I was really impressed. Um, a lot of tricky things here, kind of like clicking the state and province opens a drop down that you have to scroll through um, and click on California. I mean, not necessarily that hard, you know, but like, I guess more complicated than just filling out a text field. Um, and it's going through these. I gave Devin permission to just make things up for me. Um, like, yeah. Um, so I never told it I know how to speak English, for example, but I just let it assume that uh, for me. Um, yeah. And then this is basically just it going through and uh, filling out the form, and there we go. I actually got an email a few seconds later from Taco Bell uh, telling me that my application was received. And finally, I had to do the same for Jack in the Box, which is a slightly different website, but it's able to figure out um, how, to, how to find the careers page, how to get to the jobs, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. There's my address as well. Great. Overall, I definitely have a hope for Devin to basically clear up all the mistakes they have made and improve their platform even better so that when they do have a release for everyone, it is actually something that is backed up with proper results and it's capable of doing something that they promised. So I definitely recommend that you check out this new update because it does look quite promising and they have done a lot of work to improve their overall platform. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Definitely recommend that you sign up with the waitlist. They slowly are giving access to everyone, so keep that in mind. But with that thought, make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access my Patreon that gives out different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free, as well as joining our private Discord where we talk about different sorts of topics as well as daily AI news in the Discord. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to get daily AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.